Um, now tell me about electricity. You don't use electricity basically. Uh, why? Tell me about that. There's all this idea about um, trying to consume as little as possible and we think behind electricity there's a lot of violence, there's a lot of inequality because uh, all the things which are needed for making electricity are, yeah, there are people exploited, there is a nature exploited and decided, okay, we don't want to participate in this kind of exploitation and we can do without, we can show uh, it's possible to, to live in a way uh, we care for ourselves, we care for the people we live with and we really see what we, what we have, what kind of impact we have on our surroundings, on, on the environment. Wow. And Antoine, how, how was for you? You, you miss it? Uh, I don't miss uh, electricity that much. Like before, I used to play a lot of video games, but uh, I was wondering uh, how it would feel. And uh, in the end, uh, there are so many activities uh, here we can do, like manual activities uh, in the garden or building uh, our own houses. That uh, like I'm uh, really happy uh, without uh, using uh, electricity like I used to before, three years ago. Wow. And just uh, yeah, spending time uh, around the table uh, talking uh, with each other. Uh, like we always uh, find uh, the, the difference with our neighbors uh, that uh, people uh, watch a lot the television, for example, nowadays. And uh, so people uh, ask us, uh, but what do you do in the evening uh, if you don't have electricity? Uh, and we just say, okay, we talk around the table, uh, we read books, uh, we play cards. Uh, yeah, we use uh, mostly candles uh, that uh, we get uh, from people who have uh, older candles they don't use anymore. So it's also salvaged uh, candles. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. Was... <laughs> <laughs> so they give you for free? Yeah, it's people we meet uh, on the market, uh, they, they give us uh, the candles. Uh, so until now we didn't have problems with it, but we are thinking of how to make our own uh, wax. And we planted some uh, trees that uh, could uh, make uh, the wax. Ah uh, yeah, also in the Harissa, yeah, you're right. Um, so it's a project that started uh, during uh, uh, our studies because uh, we were a group of four friends uh, at first and uh, we, we didn't like the idea of uh, working uh, as engineers in uh, offices and to work uh, for big companies uh, that uh, destroy the planet and uh, don't respect uh, human rights. So there was a political and philosophical choice at first. And so because we didn't want to do a job, uh, a regular engineer job, we decided uh, to create our own project, to go and live in a place uh, where we could uh, avoid uh, consuming as much as uh, uh, yeah, regular uh, people uh, who live in the city. Oh, that was really different from what you study, you know? Like the mentality of uh, producing things and consuming, you know? Yeah, it's uh, very different from uh, producing and making money. Uh, it was more the thought of uh, how to live together and uh, how to, to get uh, rid uh, of money as much as possible and to uh, establish a more healthy relationship uh, with the neighbors and uh, people who surround us. Uh. And now it's like three years you're living uh, here, right? Um, how, how does it feel after three years uh, consuming uh, very differently? Uh, maybe I uh, appreciate more the, in the present uh, moment. Like uh, not focusing so much on uh, uh, worrying on the future or uh, on the past, what, ha what happened. Um, but it is uh, really good to be able to grow our own food. And uh, to, for example, we go shopping only once every uh, three weeks or something like that. For just a little things we cannot uh, grow here yet, like oil. Uh, and you don't have um, running water either. So what do you do with water? Where do you get it? Um, like there's uh, there are small rivers on the land. So this water we use uh, to do our laundry, to wash ourselves, to water the garden if needed. Um, and we go um, like 300 meters to a, sur a source where we can uh, get uh, drinking water, okay. water to cook. We also collect uh, rainwater. With the rainwater, we wash um, vegetables and we do dishes, stuff like this. Yeah. There is a greenhouse. A greenhouse, okay, yeah. And there is uh, the cellar, like a half buried cellar where we can store our food uh -huh. in a cool place. It's like our fridge. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was the two 
like uh, because uh, at the beginning of the project we had imagined a three uh, very important building which would be the house uh, the greenhouse where we can start the seedlings in spring before planting outside and the cellar where we can store our food uh, especially in winter time uh, uh, safe from uh, frost Uh, the walls are made out of straw bales, like little uh, straw bales, and uh, we just pile them up and uh, then put uh, some uh, clay uh, on top, clay from the, the land. And uh, yeah, a straw is a very good uh, for insulation, so mm. it's keeping us uh, warm. Uh, how is it? How, how do you make friends, for example? Hmm. <laughs> That's oh a man. good question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Friends uh, for us are often neighbors because uh, we move by, by bike. So we cannot uh, really make friends, uh, new friends uh, very far. So um, we either see uh, neighbors with whom we become friends. Uh, and so we see at the market, uh, we see here for pizza evenings, uh, mm -hmm. or we go to uh, this neighbor's place. And uh, we also have uh, still uh, contacts with uh, our friends from the past. So we go and visit them, or uh, people uh, often uh, come here also, especially in summer because it's the, the best season to, to come. <laughs> so people come with a tent and uh, yeah. We are imagining uh, new ways of uh, meeting people around and uh, connecting with neighbors, which are uh, like organizing uh, walks, uh, like botanical walks, or uh, uh, yeah, maybe in the future uh, walks uh, to observe uh, birds. Uh, and um, we also start uh, sharing our seeds with the neighbors because uh, we start making our own seeds from uh, vegetables. And uh, we have also started uh, grafted uh, fruit trees. So there is this idea of having a kind of tree nursery here where we could uh, multiply uh, some uh, berry bushes or some uh, fruit trees and to share them uh, for free with the neighbors uh, around. Uh, so really uh, stopping with this idea of uh, money uh, and to, to catch the attention of uh, people around. Uh, to see that we can do things uh, without money uh, and that uh, we can build friendship around uh, these uh, exchanges. There's also this idea um, about politics because we want to... Like sometimes it feels like we're in our own little paradise here. We don't see the violence anymore which is happening in society. But we still want to, to fight for some values we have. Uh, 